Now, a continuation of what we've been talking about, giving instructions. Giving instructions. Here is a question for you. Here is a question for you. I want you to take time. Go through this question. Answer the question. Then submit your work for marketing. I will look at your work. I'm giving you, to begin with, I'm giving you something very simple. But as we go along, I will ask you to write instructions and send through an email. And on that email, I'll direct you on who to CC and who to BC on your email. We shall look at some of the tricks that examiners use when testing paper one questions in functional writing. But for this moment, you will attempt this question. Your cousin has bought a mobile phone, but she doesn't know how to type text messages and send. In a letter, give her instructions that will help her do that with ease. In a letter, give her instructions that will help her do that with ease. That's a typical example of a proper one question based on instructions. So, you will uh, attempt that, give those instructions, and I'll mark your work. After that, we shall look at how you can combine this now with an email. I'll ask you to give instructions and send them through an email address. But for now, I would like you to attempt that question. Submit your work and look at your work. Then I'll mark and I'll guide you accordingly based on that. So that's simply, that's all about giving instructions. If you have any question on instructions, don't hesitate to ask. The most critical question that students ask based on instructions is whether you write them in prose form or in bullet or point form. Now, at this stage, we'll allow you to write both. You can either use prose form, you can write them in a paragraph form in a continuous manner, flowing, but very clearly using simple language. Or, you can use bullets. You list one after another, one after another, as you, as you go down. But for now, do that. But for this one, I'll allow you to use both. You can either list or you can write in bullet form. Now, our next item under functional writing will be something we call a note of thanks. A note of thanks. Some people call it a thank you note. A thank you note. It's all the same. Note of thanks or a thank you note. Not of thanks or a thank you, no. These are those, another example of those small items that are normally combined with a bigger item. It's a simple example of those small items that are normally combined either with, mostly with an email address. They can tell you, write a thank you note or write a note of thanks to your friend, to your cousin, to your nephew who has just excelled in his national exams and send it through an email. So you have to write this note of thanks, then you attach it to an email in your question. Now, a thank you note or a note of thanks is a thoughtful way to express your gratitude and appreciation for someone who has done something great for you. The note doesn't have to be long to be meaningful. Your thoughts count more. You don't have to write a long item, but it's your thought that counts more. So basically, a thank you note is a thoughtful way to express your gratitude and appreciation for someone who has done something great for you. The note doesn't have to be long to be meaningful. Your thoughts normally count more. Elements of a thank you note or element of a note of thanks. Number one, debt. You have to give the debt when you write in that note of thanks because this is an accountable document that you can always refer back to. Secondly, we have a salutation. Salutation, eh? dear sir, dear brother, 
Dear Joseph, dear Grace, salutation, very important. Three, personalizing the note. You personalize. Think of one or two specific instances when you are helped by the person. Think of one or two specific instances when you are helped by the person. So you have to personalize that note. Talk about an experience you went through together. Talk about an experience that the two of you connects the two of you. When you write that down, you can say, I remember with uh, satisfaction and pride the moment we went out together at the park to experience nice flora and fauna. Hmm? I remember with great satisfaction the moment you visited me in my school last uh, holiday, last visiting and brought with you a sumptuous uh, meal of fried chicken and chips. I remember with satisfaction. Always personalize that note. Make it appear that make it appear that this is a person you know personally, someone you've interacted and someone you've shared a good experience. So personalize the note, but it should not be very long, it should be brief. Concluding the note, say thank you again to the person. By concluding, just say thank you to that person that you're writing the note to. Say thank you. Then sign at the end of that in your note. Sign it. Always remember one thing, that most of these functional writings can either be formal or informal. It depends on the instructions you are given in the exam. When you are writing to a nephew, to an uncle, to an aunt, mostly it's informal. It is informal, it doesn't follow the formal rules. But when you are writing maybe uh, from one institution to another to thank them, maybe from one school to another, from one company to another, uh, it is a bit formal and structured. So you follow the formal structures, the formal ways in which uh, any other letter can be written. But uh, in cases to a family member, it can sound, it can become informal. So those are the few elements of a thank you note, the debt, the salutation that's dear Sam, Adam, dear Joseph, dear Mike, then personalizing the note, making it appear like these are people who know each other personally. Then you conclude the note and you sign at the end of that note. Those are the most critical areas, most important areas of a thank you note. Let's look at the sample of a thank you note. Let's look at the sample of a thank you note. Look at that. It was listed on the 9 April 2016. The date is up there. Then secondly, Dear Mrs. Becky, dear Miss Becky, you're writing to, to Becky. I'm writing to thank you for everything you did last year to help me prepare for my exams. She has personalized the note. By bringing the fact that she helped, him, she helped them, she shows these people are connected to a certain level. I'm writing to thank you for everything you did last year to help me prepare for my exams. I really appreciate where I really appreciated when you asked me to be coming to see you whenever I had difficulty in a subject. You also advised me to work harder in class. But more than that, you guided me on how to answer questions in the exams. All the support you gave me helped me receive the grade I received. I could have never received anything near this grade without you. Thank you. Sincerely. More comments, Abdi. You can see that note, it's quite simple, it's brief and to the point. Secondly, uh, he has uh, actually personalized it. There's even the date, the salutation. He has personalized the note. Then he has uh, done what? He has given a side is concluded conclusion then he has given a they're supposed to sign down there but I cannot sign this, this one is a line but supposed to put a signature down there so simply this is how a thank you note looks like this is how a good thank you note will look like for example purposes when you are given a question to write a thank you note write something as simple as this follow the instructions of writing I think you're not. This is a good 
example, if you have any question based on a tanky note, always be ready to ask. Come online, do a question of your own, go through your past papers, do a question on a tanky note, then submit your work. We mark, we look at where you do mistakes. This full column is quite important. When you're writing a date, there's a comma between the month and the year, then sincerely. And when you write to us faithfully, when you write to us sincerely, then down there the signature. Those are my new, my new details that actually either um, earn you marks or lose you marks. So never ignore anything on functional writing. There are those small, small details that matter a lot when you're writing those items. Otherwise, for now, thank you for your time. I'll upload these notes on our Google Classroom, go through them, do the assignment, then you'll interact more after that. Thank you for your time.